Right. Hillary Clinton sharing dirt about the 2016 campaign in her new book. It is called What Happened? And in it, Clinton reflects on her stunning loss to Donald Trump last year. And she's got plenty of blame to go around about Bernie Sanders. She writes his attacks caused lasting damage, making it harder to unify progressives in the general election and paving the way for Trump's crooked Hillary campaign. Rachel Campos Duffy is a Fox News contributor. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio host and Fox News contributor. Ladies, thank you for coming in. You know, in this book, she literally throws the book at everyone but the kitchen <laughs> sink. I mean, she blames Bernie Sanders, Jamie, James Comey, uh, The New York Times. She even takes a swipe at Joe Biden. Matt Lauer, who she actually got mad at for asking about the emails, which was the most obvious question at the time. And on Lauer, she says this, I was ticked off. NBC knew exactly what it was doing here. The network was treating this like an episode of The Apprentice, in which Trump stars and ratings soar. Leslie, what's your take? Well, first of all, I think it's um, the perfect storm. I mean, mm -hmm. if we look at what happened, and people obviously want to know what happened, and that's why uh, so many people have pre-ordered it, and this is why she wrote it. I mean, this is why we're talking about it right now, right? Uh, but one of the things, and, and she has talked about this uh, publicly, I have seen her talk about this, is she certainly knows she has enough blame, and that, you know, it is the economy, stupid, and she didn't focus on that. Uh, Joe Biden is right, and by the way, her husband, former President Clinton, had said to her and she disregarded his warning don't forget about the disenfranchised white working class blue collar worker and she did and and not going to states like wisconsin that really hurt her but some of the other blame i do believe that the media was constantly negative about her um, i do believe that every time trump opened his mouth he got uh, free uh... press time across the board uh... you know whether it was good or bad and uh... also i do believe that comey the timing of that uh... helped with the perception if not the reality and the timing of that statement uh, hurt her. And I do feel that Bernie Sanders has divided the party yeah. and the division is still resonating uh, at this moment. So here's some video of James Comey that we just show. The, uh, there's Bernie Sanders. And, and in the book, she actually talks about how her first instinct was that her campaign should hit back and explain that, that Comey had badly overstepped his bounds. And she said that her campaign advisors actually talked her out of it, con convincing her that it was actually better to just let it go and try to move on. But looking back, she says it was a mistake. I mean, Rachel, this is particularly particularly interesting to me because at that time, who can forget, Democrats hated Comey. I mean, they blamed him right. solely for Hillary's loss. And then after Trump fired him, it was actually Democrats who were up in arms. Yeah, she blamed Comey. She also had the nerve to blame the New York Times, who I think was pretty favorable, favorable to her, especially compared to the way they treated Donald Trump. Um, look, this is really hurting the Democrat Party. I mean, Ju uh, 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 Leslie talked about how she didn't talk about the economy on the campaign. Guess what? Because of this book and this book tour, Democrats aren't talking about the economy now. Donald Trump's talking about American jobs. He's talking about American energy and making America great again. And she's re forcing the Democrats to relitigate this campaign. Why? And I'll tell you, there's one word, Julie, it's greed. And it's the same reason that she lost the campaign to begin with. Her greed, she's outrageously rich and she's doing this book tour to make more money and force her party to talk about all the greedy reasons why she lost the election, which are, you know, quid pro quo at the State Department, at the Clinton Foundation, mm -hmm. and all the emails and deleting and hammers was all to cover her tracks um, for all the corruption she had right. going on. I think the problem here uh, for Democrats is that Hillary Clinton right. and the resist movement, they hate, they hate uh, yeah. Donald Trump more than they want to win back the working class. All right, Rachel Campos, Duffy, thank you. Leslie Marshall, see you guys later. This